Hey friends, welcome to our East Lake students video for this week. Uh, I am excited uh, for what we get to do each and every week in promoting the gospel for you, our students. I, I hope that you are ready to hear from God as we talk about relevant topic this week with the things that are going on in our world so that we can figure out how we can take a stand for people and how we can love Jesus well by loving others really well. So friends, let's go. June, thanks for that. Uh, I am excited about our planned worship night uh, coming up in June. We'll also have one in July and August, along with some other events that we are still in the process of, of working out. Uh, so this summer, be looking for some Bible studies. There's one coming uh, on More Than a Carpenter. Uh, also, we're looking to do something with Gracism as the adults engage. We're going to engage that as well, uh, probably on Wednesday evenings. Uh, for folks. Uh, we'll have some other options and some other days of the week plans. So just continue to be patient and stay with us as we try to make uh, the right plans for the season that we are in. Hey friends, so this is Pastor Rob, and I'm here with, yes, my favorite teenager. I do have a favorite teenager. Uh, am I allowed to have a favorite teenager? When he's my son, I am. So eventually I'll have my favorite female teenager, but she's not there yet. She's got a couple more years. But hey, since this week's lesson is really about um, how do we navigate this season when there's a lot of tension, uh, especially around race, uh, I thought it would actually be a relevant and good idea to just let my son Jacob, Jacob wave to everybody in case they don't know you, um, say a couple of words maybe and answer a couple questions um, about what it's like uh, as a young black man, and he is becoming a man even though that drives me nuts to say, because uh, I remember holding him when he was this big, let's embarrass him a little bit, I mean that's how big he was, he fit right here. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, okay, we're doing good. So, uh, Jacob, what's it been like over the last couple weeks for you? with all the things we're seeing on the news. Well, as a black person, it's like, there's people that are like, so you have friends, they're like doing the riot stuff. You don't want to be with them, but you kind of want to be like them to show that you are you have support of black people. But if you do that, you can get arrested or shot. And then the better the better way of doing this is the, the non-violent protests, which you just walk down the street silently, because if the police shoot at you, that's their fault, which they won't. And that's the kind of protest I want to be in. 
Okay. But what does it feel like? Like that's really awesome and really good advice. Uh, because I do think we need to figure out how to make a stand in the, in the appropriate way. Uh, and you know that your mom and I support that thinking completely. Um, but what's it been like for you to, to look at the reality of maybe some of the things that you're going to have to walk through? Well, me and my dad just watched a movie yesterday about this. I don't remember what it's called, but it was about how a teenager got shot for doing nothing. And he tried to put his hands up and he slipped and he got shot. But I'm just, I'm not afraid, but I it can be a little nervous when like, I guess being my color that when you're walking around it's a possibility that somebody can just decide they want to be violent and shoot you or hurt you or anything just because you're that color cool uh, not cool but thank you for sharing yeah. that openly um, one last thing I want to make sure we, we address you know I'm your dad so you know that I'm gonna do everything I ever possibly can to stand for you and with you um, what would you ask of all of your white friends and again this isn't specific like you're saying hey so and so you do this and you do this but what can we as white Christians do to help a young man like you support this like how can we support you in this what do we number, what do you need from us number one do not do the violent rights don't do those don't do those they're bad they're bad they're real bad and I guess you can I guess have black people's backs if something mm -hmm. happens how can we do that? How can, how can I have your back? Say I'm not your dad and something happens, not to you, but it happens and it affects you. What can I do to have your back? Do you have any idea? Try to stop it, I guess, okay. whatever's happening. Okay. What if you're just witnessing it and you just um, have to process through it? What can I, what, what is one important thing that I can do? Pray. Pray? And I'm going to throw another one at you. Because okay, I because I know you get a little nervous in front of the cameras, which is totally okay, by the way. This is um, phone. But, um, listen what if we listened to you more yeah and heard what you were wrestling with and and what you were facing and helped you process that wouldn't that be cool yeah i think so so friends there we go this this is the best expert i know um because he's my son so i'm going to say all of that about him but uh i i, I hope that this real honest conversation um at least gets you as a student thinking about the realities of what some of your peers are facing and uh, let's take a peaceful but firm stand. Uh, let's let's help Jacob. You would. I want to throw one more thing in there. Jacob, you would you would want those police officers who are doing an awesome job keeping us safe to be safe as well, right? Yeah. You want them to be protected and to be lifted up and to and to be honored just as much as you would you would want anything else, right? Yeah. So let's take a stand for good on all sides of this while recognizing that there is some injustice that we cannot be silent about anymore. Because this young man is amazing. And my hope as his dad is that he will get to experience everything that I've ever experienced. Well, I realize he's going to have a little bit of an uphill battle until we fix the system, right? Yeah, can I say one more thing? You can. Okay. Don't, you can get mad at the police officers, but the reason they're, they're so scared and so stubborn and nervous is because I'm not saying black people are aggressive, but when the history of it is because of what's happened in history with black people and white people, black people has always seemed to revolt or get really mad and riot and so they're scared that they can get hurt so what you have to do is not do that stuff and they won't feel that way anymore so respect each other yeah listen to each other talk to each other see that that's raw and real gang so let's take this one step further friends we have to realize that God has a plan for his church and his church is to stand for justice and peace just like he did on that cross when he went to that cross he did so to bring hope to a lost world. We can look back in Micah um, 6, 8, and we can see what God's called us to do. Friends, here it is. He has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Friends, let's do that. Let's, let's love mercy. Let's walk humbly with God, and let's love people. And we can make a big difference no matter what we face in this world.